this is our first video of 2025 and i wish you a great success in coming year so today's topic is we wanted to discuss the frequently asked interview questions in pharmacovigilance so uh, the frequent asked questions during the pharmacovigilance interview we will try to cover few today and if you wanted us to make more then we can make a series two three like that all right let's start so once after the introductory question like please introduce yourself and how you know your qualification and all that generally this type of question comes your way it may revolve around it it may be little little here so i have also given you clue that how you can answer it so what in the question number one can be that uh, what interest you in a pharmacovigilance and why do you want to work in this field now try to understand the intention of a person who is asking the interviewer because what is their goal they want a good candidate they want the candidate who stays with them so they just wanted to check with you that are you really aware about this subject do you know it is your goals are aligned to this field hmm? so as you know the clinical trials they answer two questions safety and efficacy that is it the product safe and efficacy uh, it product is working right so you can you know align your answer in a such a way that when you answer it the person feels that you have a proper understanding first of all second knowledge of a subject so what you can say that in a clinical trial we try to answer safety and efficacy of the product but when it comes to safety hmm, pv is the field which help us to answer this question you know pharmacovigilance is the field where, where you really can answer the safety so you can f go further and say that it combines my passion with healthcare and my analytic skills ha and in a clinical research it will give me a continuous learning and development opportunities because you are working on new drugs right and when and you will be get a chance to solve the new healthcare challenges and problems and since you can further say that B, i have done a b pharma or m pharma or life sciences degree so it when i have chosen my subject in healthcare so i believe it aligned to, to my mission you know i have an interest in public health i have an interest in healthcare so it is aligned to my bigger mission as well and at the end you may like say that you know i believe that uh, while while working in a pharmacovigilance it will help me uh, potentially to save lives by contributing health in healthcare simultaneously it is very rewarding as i will learn in this field so like this you can frame your answers now let's move into the question number 2 of a pharmacovigilance the next question can be asked around that can you explain the importance of a pharmacovigilance in drug development this is important drug development and post marketing surveillance you know that when the drug is in your phase clinical trial phase phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 right that is your drug development and once it is in the market you know then it is in a post marketing surveillance right so what is the importance of pharmacovigilance in both now you can divide it during development which means you are doing your either phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 right we ensure safety and efficacy of the drug by monitoring and evaluating of the effect of drug in clinical trial right how you measure the safety by tracking the adverse drug reaction of a her safety concern so when you are suppose your phase 2 trial is going on if there are adverse drug reaction of concern that is those are tracked by pharmacovigilance so the moment you will come during drug development if there are safety concerns you are coming to know then th this may lead to modification of drug formulation dosing contraindication hence means pharmacovigilance is a tracking a safety in your drug development phase 1 2 3 and based on the safety information might be you are feeling that at a 15 mg more side effects are coming in more adrs are being reported that means there may be a change in the dosing 
that so basically pharmacovigilance is helping you to change to realign your ways before drug is marketed so it may change into a drug formulation dosing contraindication it can be any so once the drug is in market so now your drug is approved you are in market so in a real world use of a drug can bring the you know uh, concerns about new safety ADRs those been not identified in a clinical trial and pharmacovigilance help in early detection of these issues and align timely intervention to prevent or limit the harm to the patient you might have seen that sometime labels are changed sometime drugs are being recalled from the market with the help of pharmacovigilance even long term effects of the drug they are can be tracked in a post marketing surveillance information can lead to update of drug labeling risk management measures withdrawal of the drugs so if you can you know not 100% like this maybe 50 60% you can align your answer around this your answer is accurate and impressive so another question can be how familiar with you are with the pharmacovigilance guide basically regulatory requirement they are asking fda ema gcp right so here i am giving you generalized answer but i'll say suggest you read about it gbp modules go through it right so uh, even e2 guidelines i'll say if you wanted to uh, uh, if you wanted to check the gcp aspect as well e2 guideline you should know hmm? <coughs> sorry so uh, fda is about um, us and ema is uh, in europe you know the main these regulations they are uh, include collection detection assessment monitoring and prevention of adverse event around pharma pharmaceutical product so if they ask you any guideline suppose sometime happens we go blank that is the uh, you know sometime happens during interview even if you go blank even if you have not heard about that regulatory agency at least say this general answer that the regulation is around because it will be it is around that only collection how you will collect your adverse events hmm? adrs detection third is assessment fourth is monitoring and to prevention of adverse if effects of a uh, pharma products and they also design and implement the post market uh, you know marketing surveillance study risk management and communication of risk benefit aspects of the drug so you can you know give your answer around this now another important question it is not only in the pharmacovigilance even in the medical writing is asked a lot that what is the difference between adverse drug reaction and adverse event we have a dedicated video on our channel if you wanted to just um, uh, you know understand it with examples so this is go to question here is the definition if you wanted to read it but i wanted to give you a more practical answer so adverse event anything big small small is as a headache big as maybe a big accident um, you know or maybe a, a you know death so adverse event anything big or small is happening in a clinical trial is adverse event irrespective of the fact it is related to drug or not so what makes a different from adr is its relatedness if it is in any way potentially related to study drug hmm, related to with study drug or a vaccine then it turn to a reaction hmm. suppose there is patient is saying that i met with an accident suppose related with um, you know uh, deep analysis and related tests it came to uh, knowledge that um, the patient uh, judgment Mm, was compromised uh, while he was driving because of the drug you know so maybe drug impacted his decision making in an any way you know so then it will turn to a reaction otherwise anything happens in a clinical trial it will be categorized as a adverse event moment there is a connection with the study drug medicinal product it is known as a reaction 
ओके अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट फार्माको विजिलेंस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन कैन बी द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अ सिग्नल डिटेक्शन एंड रिस्क असेसमेंट इन अ फार्माको विजिलेंस सिग्नल डिटेक्शन इज वॉट इज सिग्नल डिटेक्शन न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन सिग्नल इज नथिंग इट्स न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन सो बेसिकली वेन यू आर कलेक्टिंग ए डी आर्स यू नो इट विल गिविंग यू न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन सिग्नल डिटेक्शन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग पोटेंशियल सेफ्टी कंसर्न मे बी दिस ड्रग इज नॉट हेल्पिंग द पेशेंट हु आर हैविंग अ बी पी राइट रिलेटेड टू दैट फार्मा प्रोडक्ट सिस्टमेटिक रिव्यू ऑफ कलेक्टेड डेटा टू आइडेंटिफाई एनी सिग्नल एंड वार्निंग सजेस्ट द पॉसिबल एसोसिएशन बिटवीन ड्रग एंड एडवर्स इवेंट सपोज दे हैव यू नो कलेक्टेड डेटा एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द एडवर्स इवेंट्स आर सपोज अराउंड दे आर गिविंग हेड एक्ट टू अ पेशेंट दैट बिकम अ सिग्नल और अ वार्निंग साइन राइट इट अलाउज अर्ली डिटेक्शन ऑफ पोटेंशियल रिस्क विच कैन बी मैनेज एंड मिटिकेटेड सपोज दे केम टू नो द हेड एक इज द इशू विद दिस मेडिकेशन दे मे है अपडेट अ लेवल और दे केम टू नो दैट पेशेंट हु आर ऑलरेडी टेकिंग अ बी पी मेडिसिन इट्स नॉट हेल्पिंग दैम दे नीड टू अपडेट अ लेवल or like that or if they have to add any warning sign they can add early detection can lead to timely action such an updating product information even withdrawal of product from a market hmm? like uh, you, you know many times if you know that major drug recalls from a history there are many right you can google it they are by protecting a health of a public now what is risk management risk assessment is on the other hand processing of the quantifying the nature of likelihood of harmful effect to individuals or population from certain human activities so that is a risk assessment it involves evaluating the severity and frequency of adverse drug reactions understanding population at risk determining benefit risk balance of the drug because as per gcp benefit should be more than risk so based on in a simpler well in a simpler language risk assessment is nothing it's just like you know you are collecting a information on a safety the moment they came to know these many side effects are coming based on adrs and all that data they will evaluate now is the benefit of the drug is more or risk is more you know so that is how we are maintaining this equation benefit should always be more than the risk okay so follow up question on interview of a pharmacovigilance can be how you prioritize task when managing multiple cases or reports in high pressure environment so this answer can be you know answered in a many ways basically how you handle uh, different task prioritize different task hmm? you may you may not be having only one task at time how you will handle different task because adr sometime the load of adrs uh, is quite high hmm? so there is no perfect answer but i have given you some ways to answer it right and this can also be more personalized like you may add your personal example like i was in this situation and how i handled it so the if you wanted to give an answer like you can say that be prioritized task based on the urgency and importance of the task suppose there is a deadline so that become your priority right set a, also to meet this set line a deadline you set a clear goals and deadlines and if possible to take a help or seek a help maybe you are a new you can't assign a task to other person but you can reach out to your senior maybe if if you are doing at your own it it was going to take you to r but now you take a help right you took a help and then you may be able to do it a faster and in the right way so wherever possible even if suppose person can ask you that you know you, you are very junior you can't uh, delegate your task then what you will do you seek a help from a senior person that will uh, help you to understand the task and you can get it done quickly use tool and technology very important hmm? you will be using tools and technology maybe you have a lot of data you will be managing in excel you may be have these day in every organization ai tools Hmm? chatbots they are 
suppose just simple example you you have written a narrative or a summary you will you can take a help of ai or other tools to check down a grammar stay flexible and adapt take care of yourself first of all you have to keep yourself positive that's all you will be able to manage your work on a uh, even when there is a lot of workload okay another question can be can you provide an example how you have worked effectively as part of a team in a previous role or academic project why i have written as a academic project because i know uh, you know some, this can be your first interview hmm? so now i have also given you clues that what you have to highlight you have to highlight the collaborative effort you have to highlight your communication and coordination skill communication is not meaning that how fluent you are in english sometimes people misunderstand it the fluency in english is you know they think it's good communication no communication is are you able to say the right point to the right people hmm? initiative are you able to take on uh, the task by yourself feedback team work hmm? so here even maybe you have done some uh, you know cultural activity in your college like you, you know you say that maybe five of us were doing this cultural activity initially initially there was a lot of uh, you know lack of a coordination among all of us no one was coming on time then maybe we split the task we, we decided the time we fixed the time like at this time everyone will be coming then we saw that Uh, our performance was not that good that means you had working on your feedback then we we you know took a help from our coach maybe senior faculty or senior uh, you know um, and then then how you um, took the uh, their feedback and improved similarly you can highlight the your college project maybe which you have done maybe thesis that have you have written you know so make it personalized i just have given you one example right so at the end maybe you can say that any project you are talking you can say that throughout this experience i learned the importance of communication initiative flexibility in team work because you have to adapt it's not today maybe you thought that we will be working in this way tomorrow you may have changed despite the challenges we faced we are able to deliver successful project because of our effective team work so this is how you can answer your few interview questions uh, i have covered here seven or eight only uh, but we can go on beyond these questions if you really like it just share your thoughts in the comment box that if you are liking it we can cover more interview question even you know uh, medical writing as clinical research associate med- monitoring we can cover more que- interview questions in our coming uh, videos uh, once again wish you very happy new year uh, and wish you great uh, success in your career thank you so much